Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. I will be doing another redesign of some of my very old customs. Princess Ivy, who is the princess of the Red Wolf Elves, and Night Rose, the Explorer. Both were customized way back before I knew how to sew, how to do hair wefts, and how to basically do anything properly. So let's give these two a second chance, and let's start with Ivy. To start and make her more elven-like, I make her ears a little bit longer with two-part epoxy. After it has hardened, I sand away any imperfections, and then after that I paint the ears and head with thin watered-down layers of grey paint. Yeah, before I did not know how to use epoxy sculpt or how to sculpt anything at all, so this is a very big improvement for my original design. So for her hair, I want to give it a little bit of an upgrade, so I'm going to have half of it re-rooted and half of it flocking. So for the re-rooted part, I will only be uh, re-rooting the front of the hair section and only half of the part. I then add the glued wefts to the re-rooted side. And then I paint the flocking side with white paint. I add a thin layer of glue, I then press the flocking into the glue and make sure I press it all the way, making sure it lays smooth and not super bumpy. I prep the body with Mr. Super Clear and start blushing the body with reds and gold shimmer. I use some gold color pencil to draw some designs on her legs and up her body and then I go over it with gold paint. I prep the face with Mr. Super Clear after protecting the hair. I start with blushing the ears, under the chin, and the forehead. Her lips I draw on with some red color pencils and then use some paint to add more color. I paint on the same detailings on her body with gold paint on her cheeks. For her eyeshadow, I use reds and gold paint. I give her some white eyebrows and continue to layer and to paint on more details. So the original design for Ivy's makeup is meant to be more sad and more gloomy, but that doesn't really fit her anymore since she's like a princess, she's a warrior, so I decided to make it more edgy, more elegant, more mysterious. So I decided to go for the sharp eyeliner, the more narrow eyes, and for her eye color I went with gold and red, just making it interesting here and there. The main focus is her outfit rather than her face up, so it's supposed to be elegant but still simple at the same time. And I just copy and paste to the other side of her face. 
I first added some black lashes and changed it to white to better match her hair. I then glossed her eyes and lips. For a neat little detail to be a little similar to my other elf, my winter elf queen, I give her a big cape, no hood this time. So I use this red velvet with gold detailing to be my cape. And then I cut out the pattern and add some dark velvet trim to the sides. Her dress is from DG Requiem. It is her Renaissance pattern, dress pattern, I believe, just a little changed. I cut the pieces out of this nice rose gold shimmer fabric. I sew the pieces together and then I change the front piece so that it shows off more of her legs. I add these really, really long sleeves and her outfit is done. Off camera, I did go back and add some more sparkle details to her dress and cape. I also made a staff for her off camera. A lot of off camera work for these two dolls because I would finish one part and then I would work on something else and then I would go back and be like, oh, but this would work so good and this would look good with this and I would just forget to hit record. Moving on to Night Rose. This was what I just started customizing, so let's see if I've learned anything. To start, I spray the body and blush the body with some dark browns and some gold shimmer. I then seal with gloss Mr. Super Clear. I've been loving the finished look that the gloss gives instead of the matte. It just makes everything sparkle so much better. Next, I blush the head also with some golds and browns. I add these black gems to her body. They came from Michaels. I believe they're used for scrapbooking, actually. I then replace some of the bigger stones with some red gems. This is meant to like mimic the rose design that I painted on the old custom. I start with the whites of the eyes and add the blushing with red and black and a hint of gold. Her lips are red that kind of fade into black. I've always wanted to try that look on a doll and here's my chance. The eyes are simply just brown. I added some black lashes and to make them pop a little bit more, I added a little bit of white, a trick I learned from Enchantarium. I then seal the face with gloss Mr. Super Clear and add extra gloss to her eyes and lips. And I also add some more gems to her cheeks. For her outfit, I'm using Enchantarium's dress pattern they used for Prima, their little fairy elf person. To start the pattern, I cut out all the pieces of the felt. I then sew the back and the front piece together along the shoulder seam. I also did prep the sleeves beforehand. I then attached the sleeves to the shoulders and then I hemmed along the sleeve length and the side of the shoulders. But add a snap to the front and then I cut the bottom off. It just hid too much of her body art. I wanted the gems to be actually seen instead of just underneath everything. I then make a little mini skirt from black velvet. I just love velvet apparently for these two. Velvet here, velvet there, throw velvet everywhere. I then add these paper roses to her sleeves and some more gems.
Her shoes are Blair's shoes, but I painted black with some red paint on the roses, and then I seal it with some gloss. For her hair, I'll be using yarn. I use red and black yarn for the hair, I brush it out and iron it straight, and make wefts. This is the style I'm aiming for, this kind of layered red and black look, so I go layer by layer. Red, black, 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 red. I wanted more red to peek, uh, more black to peek through, but it ended up being more red. And both dolls are done! And here are both dolls. Princess Ivy. She rules over the Redwood, protecting her lands and her people. She is a warrior, healer, and ruler. She guides her pe she guides her people with wisdom and bravery and brings life to the Redwoods. She definitely got a glow up from before. She's very simple, very basic, and now she actually looks like a royal princess. Night Rose. She loves exploring the night, seeing the world under the stars and moon. She collects different things she finds, and she comes home to tell her Rose friends about her adventures. Compared to before, she definitely looks better. It makes me happy seeing how much I've improved and from when I first did these designs. And it also allows me to fall back in love with some of my older customs that have been hiding away in a box. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today and creating these two dolls was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more, to be more a part of my process, and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for your love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!